fifth grade, lesson five, and this is on naming whole numbers through hundred. Okay, and then we're also going to talk about dollars and cents just a tad. Okay, so the first thing I want you to see is let's say I had this number, 365. Do you see that number? Okay, and the other day we were talking about, do you remember this? How many hundreds do I have? Three. Uh-huh. How many tens do I have? Six. And how many ones do I have? Uh, five. Very good. Okay. So you remember that this is called the ones group, the tens group, and the hundreds group. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. So when you actually read this number, you say 300. Now we don't say six tens, okay, even though that seems like that would make sense. You would just say how many six tens, how much six tens makes. So if we had one ten, that would be ten. And if we had six of them, so it would be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So there are six tens, per, we're just kind of talking, okay? And so this would be 365. So that's how you would read that number. You probably know that already, but I'm just reviewing it with you. Okay, so let's review a few other words or numbers that we would work. How would you say this number? 18. 18. You probably know that, and that's kind of easy. Okay, what about this one? 80. 80. Okay, what about this one? 81. Now, I want to show you a quick way how to write 81. Okay, 80. Okay, now this is a weird spelling, 80. And then you always put a dash one. Whenever you're working with numbers from 20 to 100 that have a two-part name. Do you understand what I mean by that? 21, 24, 84. They're all going to have this 80 dash something or 40 dash something. Got it? So when you're actually having to write them out using words, this is how you will do it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, now Let's talk about this. How would you read this one, Isaac, you like? How would you read that? 108. Say it again. 108. What? Ooh, see? That's exactly. I've done that my whole life. I would say 108. Okay? But in math, when you're working with numbers, you don't ever want to say and until you have a decimal. It's very important in math. Okay? Now, we'll talk about that in just a minute. So, what? how you would say this is... 108, okay? I would say 100, because that's the hundreds, and then eight ones. Why didn't I say any tens? Because there's not any, okay? There were zero tens, so I say 108. See how I skipped over the tens? So that's how you would read that, good job. All right, and the last one we're gonna read. Read that to me. 821. Excellent job. And that time he didn't say and, which was the, exactly the way to do it. So if I was going to write this in word form, I want you to see how I would do it. 800. And a lot of times people want to put and right here. And even when we say it, sometimes we want to say and. But we're just going to say 800 and then 20. And see how I'm going to do my dash? 21. Because that number, 21 is one of those numbers that have to have those dash because it's not just 20, it's 21, okay? All right, so this is how we'd write it, 821. All right, very good. Now let's talk about money, and this is when you will start saying and, all right? So let's say, Eli, that you had this amount of money. Wouldn't that be nice to have, right? <laughs> you can buy a lot of things with that, right? Okay, so let's talk about before the decimal first. Okay, what was this place called? Pretend like this isn't here. Okay, mm, once. once. And what was this place? Ten. And what was this place? Hundred. Okay, you're exactly right. Now we're going to talk about the right of the decimal another day. Okay, but we're going to read it just the same as we were. Okay, now we know this is a dollar sign, so we'll actually read this. $324, and what does this one mean? And, and then you just read this number, 56 cents. Got it? Try it with me. $324, 
and, and 56 cents. Good job. That's exactly how you would say that. Okay, and if I were to write that, I want you to see what it would look like. 320 dash four, because why, Eli? Why did I put 20 dash four? Because we don't do an and. Well, not yet. Not yet. But why did I do this 24 and not just 24? Because we're talking about that number. that number, that whole number. Right. So 324 and 50 dash 6 cents. 324, and I can put dollars if some people like to do that. 324 dollars and 56 cents. And again, see how I did that number? They're combined 56 because it's a number anywhere between 20 and 100. Got it? Okay. So that's kind of hard to get used to doing this dash thing, but the more you do it, the easier it'll get. Okay? So that is lesson five.